All right, we have come to the end of our Go Math chapters and lessons, and so we're going to do a preparation now for our seventh grade. And you're going to notice we've done a lot of these lessons already on our enrichment. This is just how Go Math sets it up, and so it'll be helpful for you guys to kind of see their format for next year. All right, today's first lesson, we're going to cut this into two parts today. Again, very simple, so that's why we're combining. Just adding uh, integers with the same sides, uh, same sign, sorry. So here we have positives. You see how they use a yellow, so you can think of like a little plus inside, right? And here we have negatives. So since these are all together, um, you would just add 4 plus 2, right? So that's the absolutes adding, but since they're all negative, two, two negatives become uh, a greater negative, right? So another way to think of it is a little story. So the first person lost $4 in the morning, and then in the evening he lost or she lost two more dollars. So they lost a total of $6. So that's all that is, all right? It's just understanding the difference between you know, the negatives and positives. So pretty straightforward on this first part. And let's take a look down below here on the practice piece. All right, so you, again, you have your positive plus positive. We've been doing that since first grade, all right? So whenever you add two positive numbers, if there's not a sign in front of the numbers, you just add the signs, all right? And here we have our two negative numbers. So they're starting simple again. So we add our numbers, we add our absolutes, and since they're both negative, since they're both red numbers, it becomes you know negative 10. So down below, when you're doing your independent practice, just be careful now. Just make sure that you're matching the signs. So we have our two negatives, and then we add our absolutes together. 14 match the absolute, and then we have our positives, again, that you've been doing. All right, so word problems, a couple of good ones here for you guys to think and set up. All right, so that's the first part of our lesson, and then we're going to do one more getting ready lesson. Uh, we're going to do addition with different signs, all right? So this is a, co a connection to some of the enrichment lessons we've done. And here's the, the number line, and you saw me lead you on this a couple weeks ago. So same idea here, all right? So they show you, again, if you're adding uh, 1 and 3. So there's our starting point right here. Oh, oops, so we're adding negative 3, rather, sorry. So we start with the first number, and then the second number tells us what to do. So don't get confused by the plus, all right? That's just showing you where you're going now. Just cross it out if you have to. Negative 3 is what you're doing. So you're minusing 3. You're moving 3 to the left. We did our absolutes, 1 to 0, right? And then 2 more. So you end on negative 2. Let's take a look at this one. Model 2 plus negative 5. So here's our starting point once again. Let's start with 2. And what are we doing now? Plus negative 5. We're going to the left 5. And so we'll do our two jumps to 0. And we have three more jumps to go. All right, the other way you can look at that, again, since we have different signs, we have a positive and a negative. You can just think of it as subtracting right. And then the answer is 3, and then you have to match the bigger absolute. All right, so here the absolute is 5 and the sign is negative, and here the absolute is 2 and the sign is positive, and so the sign has to be negative 3. So two ways to do that, depending on how you look at it. How about this one? We start at negative 6, so negative 6 plus 4. There's our starting point, and now we are increasing by 4. All right, so now we go up, and there is our start, uh, stopping point on negative 2. To use the subtraction method, since we have different signs, all right, you would, you would subtract the absolute, so don't look at the sign. So 6 minus 4 is 2, and now we match the sign of the bigger absolute. So which one is bigger between those two? Is it the negative number or the positive number? The negative number is bigger, so it has to be a negative total at the end, all right? You started with a debt of six, and then you added four, so you have less money to owe or lose there. All right, so that's the idea there. All right, so down below, you're going to practice these things. Let me just clear this out. All right, so use your number line here. Uh, I guess I'm only going to assign the independent practice. So let's just go over a couple more. All right, so 3 plus negative 3. So, again, this is our starting point. And now what are we doing? All right, that is telling us now to go to the next number. All right, so we are going 3 to the left. And hopefully that's one that you guys can see right away. I earned $3, and now I have negative 3. I lost $3. So those would cancel out, and our answer would be 0. All right, how about this one? So negative 9 plus 4, we start at negative 9. And hopefully you guys are going to start to just do these in your head, right? So you see we have different signs. So difference in math means subtract. So 9 minus 4 is 5, and now you just have to think, is my answer going to be positive or negative? Look at the absolute. I have a bigger negative number than I do a positive number. 
So it has to be a negative number. And I can use my number line now if I don't understand that. I'm going to move to the right four. So one, two, three, four. So I'm still in the negative side of things. Negative five is your answer. All right, so just take a look at this one. Negative five plus four. Is my answer going to be positive or negative? It's going to be negative, all right, because my negative number, my negative absolute is bigger than my positive absolute. All right, so subtract the two. Five minus four is one. And it's a negative one. Or hopefully some of you guys can just you know do that number line in your head. I'm starting at negative five, and now I'm moving four to the right, but I'm still not going to get to zero, right? Because I need five. So there so many different ways to look at this. It doesn't really matter which one that you use. Again, if you're struggling on what sign to put, I would say go back to the number line and then also do this. This is a strategy I used uh, back in the day when I taught this. All right, take a look at our number here, negative eight. Do I, did I earn money or did I lose money? All right, I lost money. All right, so that's an L. Look at the next number, plus two. Did I lose or earn? I earned. So now just take a look. Which one did I do more of? Did I lose more or did I earn more? And I lost more. So that means I have to have a negative uh, sign in my answer. And then I would just subtract. Eight minus two is six. All right, and then that matches, right? I start at negative eight, and then I earned $2, and so I go two to the right. All right, so you're going to do those two problem sets. A very simple lesson today. Just make sure you're careful with the signs going back and forth. Any questions, let me know.